Well, Cushing's disease is the most frequent cause of uh, endogenous Cushing syndrome, which is the chronic excess of cortisol production. In the case of Cushing's disease, it is secondary to a pituitary tumor that produces excess production of ACTH, which is the hormone which regulates normally the production of cortisol by the adrenal glands. Well, in Cushing's disease, there's a tumor that secretes excess ACTH from the pituitary gland. So the treatment of choice initially is to try to selectively remove this small tumor. Usually it's small. In the majority of cases, in 80% of cases, it's quite small in the pituitary gland. So the task is for the neurosurgeon to try to identify the tumor, remove it selectively, leaving the rest of the pituitary gland intact hoping that the patient will be in remission. Neurosurgery is capable of doing this in between 50 and 70, 80 percent of the cases. So in maybe 20, 30 percent of the cases, this, uh, immediately after surgery, it's clear that all of the tumor was not uh, removed. But even in patients who are in remission during a certain number of years, even a very small number of residual cells in the tumor, if they are left in place over a few years, they will regrow and the manifestations of cortisol excess will reappear. So globally, after 10 or 20 years of follow-up, maybe as much as 50% of patients will require a second line of therapy because surgery was not sufficiently efficient.